Okay, in this first project, um, this is for our engagement shoot. And I bought these shoes um, at Emmy Clubwear. And the shoes that came with the rhinestones were about 40 to $50. Um, so I ordered them plain. And then the suspenders, I wanted to add a little bling to him to bring in my outfit. So these are the rhinestones with the adhesive back that come on the sheet. So I just measured out the shoe straps and cut it down to size and the same as for the suspenders. So let's get started. So it peels off really easy on the back. And we're gonna just stick it on there. And when I put it on there, there's a whole row that's hanging off. So I'm just going to cut that off. It's better to have more than not enough. And the adhesive backing part is a little gummy. So sometimes it can take a couple times to cut it with the scissors. And there you have it. So let's put those back there. Okay, now putting this on the shoes is going to be a little tricky. I've never put this adhesive rhinestone on this type of material, so I don't know how good it's going to stick. Plus, it curves and it's an angled in over here. So we'll have to cut it and piece together a couple pieces, but I did measure them to at least go from end to end. So let's see how it works. And what I'm doing is just lining it up at the bottom of the strap. Because at least if the bottom is even, I can work everything else out. And this does stretch as well. Sorry. Okay, so it's on there, and you see how there's space over here, and then we have extra on this side. And then there's extra at the top as well. So I'm going to go off camera where I can hold it under my light and cut that off really good, and I'll be right back. Okay, so that took a little figuring out. What I ended up doing, I did not cut the extra up here. I just folded that in there um, because the, the back is gummy and I didn't want that to be sticky and get anything caught on it. But I did cut this side and then what I did is I just used my nail to kind of stuff the ends in there. So I didn't do this part so I can show you what I did.
And this piece is a little too big for the space, but I'm still gonna fold over the end. It still cuts pretty good at an angle. And then, you see there's still some that are straggling down there. I'm just going to push them up into the crease of the shoe. And there we go. Just making sure my measurements are right. All right, so the middle strap should be pretty easy because it does not curve or angle. Again, I'm just gonna line up the bottom part of the strap. And as I was putting it on here, I stretched it. So you see now we have all this excess. And this part of the shoe is elastic, so I don't want to put the bling part on there so that that can move freely. So I'm just gonna cut it off here. And then we have space over here and also there's a little bit of space on the top Now this, I don't think I cut it short enough to tuck it in, so I'm just gonna get my razor 
can't cut off more. And then I do have, for my scraps, one row. And if you see the way that I pulled it, there's space here, but no space here, and then space again here. So I'm just gonna measure it and cut it accordingly. So the backing is still on there. I don't like how that looks because you can tell that I added a row and then there's gaps. I'm going to fix that and then I'll come back. Okay, so what I did, I just went back and filled in the gaps So by adding that completed row. So for the last strap, and what I do, if you can see, um, I don't know, maybe you can't, but there's like extra white backing sticking out there. And I try to cut that down as much as possible, even on the ends here, because it has that little sticky gummy piece, and I don't want that to be sticking to anything else. Still making sure it lines up with that bottom edge there. Awesome. 
Now that actually fit on perfect. Just pushing back the little glued edges so that's not sticking out. And there we have it. So it took a little time figuring out the edges, but aside from that, that was pretty easy. So we went from the basic shoe to the $50 shoe for half the price. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and complete this second shoe I'll do that off camera and then I'll come back for the final look. Okay, here is the final look. They're not perfect, but I think they came out really well. And I think his suspenders add just enough to bring it all in. Let me know what you think.